What is going on guys? This is Ian King, aka Supra. Say Ian. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about indicators on how you can tell whether your wall is load bearing or not. So if you guys don't know what this series is about, we are on episode 10, week 10 of From Dirt to Half a Million Dollar House, where I take you guys week by week on the progress of my house getting built. So other than that, guys, let's head over. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I just arrived to the site. Um, I'm probably gonna do a quick little walkthrough around um, just to see what the progress is and what's changed. But first, shoot check. Alright guys, so I like to start at the back of the house for the video, but I want to talk about the first indicator. So if you guys remember, in episodes 2, 3, or 4, they were digging all around here before they poured the concrete. But in some areas, primarily along the perimeter of the foundation, they dug a little bit deeper, probably about like a foot deeper or so. Um, the reason why they did that is because they needed to pour more concrete along the perimeter for a continuous footing. Continuous footings are one indicator on how you can determine if your wall is load bearing. Here's an example. Notice how this, the roof, all right, let me get a better shot here. But this roof is resting on this wall, this sheer wall right here. That load from that roof is going down this wall into the concrete, into the footing, and then distributing into the soil. The next indicator I want to talk about is a mudsill anchor. Mudsill anchors are actually placed when they pour the concrete. So it's actually, it's in there. It's part of the concrete. So mudsill anchors anchor the sole plate or the sill plate. So in episode 7 I talk about this. This is called a sole plate but I didn't mention that it's interchangeable with sill plate. I didn't want to confuse you guys until I did this video but mud sill anchor anchors the sill plate to the foundation. Alright so the next indicator is an anchor bolt. So there's two types of anchor bolts. This is a standard anchor bolt. So basically this goes straight through the sill plate or the sole plate, basically all the way down into the concrete. So it's, it's embedded in there. Another item that's similar to this is pretty much its big brother here. This is a hold down. So basically it's an anchor bolt, but it's, it's on roids. This one's been working out, the other one hasn't, so. Uh, these are two indicators as well for a load-bearing wall. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you an example of a non-load-bearing wall. And that's due to this pin. So it's not as beefy as its uh, big brother, the uh, anchor bolt. Or as beefy as a hole down, which you can see down there. But, this is going to be a interesting example and they actually need to fix this because this needs to be tied there needs to be some type of reinforcement right here but my downstairs bathroom i can shake this thing you can't really tell but i can i'm, I'm physically moving this right now so there's no load carrying from the upstairs Bruh. onto this wall this is my downstairs bathroom in the master but they really need to reinforce this Another indicator is through your floor joist. Right above us, I'm in my great room right now. This is my downstairs great room. Right above us is my upstairs master. And if I'm standing in the center there, the weight is getting distributed along these floor joists. And the point 
this wall right here is carrying all that load. That load is now transferring down, down here. And guess what we see? An anchor bolt. An anchor bolt. So that's an example of how floor joists can determine whether you have a load bearing wall or not. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something about non-load bearing walls, load bearing walls, and the indicators, what those look like. If you like this video, show me some love, hit that like button. If you guys dislike it, give me that thumbs down. It's not going to hurt my feelings, I'll try better next time. But please, please hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait until this house is built. Later, guys.